Right, let's take a look at some of the best upgrades you can do for your bike and your kit for under a hundred pounds, more or less. There's so many ways, uh, and these things make a huge difference to your riding and your bike. So let's get into it. Okay, first up is kind of like your control points. It's your grips, your saddle and your pedals, um, even things like this, hand guards. Uh, these items can make such a huge difference to your riding. Just changing your grips makes your bike feel literally completely different. Uh, think about pedals, for instance. You could be riding flat pedals, moving over to clips for under a hundred pounds is a huge difference to your riding uh, and can transform the way you think about how you're gonna go out on your bike. So really think about these contact points and what they could do. And it's all for under 100 quid, not bad. For instance, uh, your grips or your saddle can totally transform your comfort on the bike. I mean, something like the saddle, this is the thing that is a very technical bit of kit. And uh, I think it's something that you really got to get right. And when you get it right, it really does feel brilliant. Um, so definitely think about your saddle, uh, the comfort side, but also the type of saddle you need for your body type. Um, grips are the same, if you've got big hands, did you know that grips come in different thicknesses? Yeah, it's a new thing, but you can get all sorts of shapes and sizes that are gonna fit you and improve the comfort on the bike. Tire inserts, now this is a relatively new thing, but we're always suggesting tires as a great upgrade, but this can really make a huge difference to how many times you get punctures or how your tire performs. Like I said, these tire inserts do lots of things. Um, they cushion the impact and of course they protect the rim itself. Um, this one is the Ard system from Nuke Proof. Uh, I really like this, it's incredibly light. This comes in at $49.99 for both wheels. Um, it's definitely a great version of the product. But you can go cheaper than that. There's systems like this, the Rim Pact. This is quite a lot cheaper actually, it's $36.99. It's pretty cool, it's a new brand out there, but definitely worth looking into. Um, but then you've got the tried and tested Cush core. Now this is kind of like the pro level tire insert, but you're looking at something like 160 pound for both wheels on this one. So that's a lot of cash to spend out, but you can do it for under 100. Next up is frame protection. We do our own version of this. Uh, it's really cool, 27.99. It's got these cutout sections that protect parts of your bike. And obviously uh, this frame protection is important because you want to keep your bike looking nice. But also if you're thinking about selling it on afterwards, um, you can just take that stuff off and it looks pristine. Um, there's also Invisi frame. Now this stuff's really cool. It's a bit more expensive, just over 70 pounds. But you can buy specific sets that exactly fit your bike and cover the whole frame. So frame protection, Definitely something to think about and well within that £100 budget. Okay, next up we're talking gloves. Now this is something that can get really overlooked, but it makes a massive difference if you get a glove that fits you and you're comfortable with. Obviously it protects your hands, um, it means you can grip much easier, um, but also it'll increase your confidence. You'll be amazed how much difference it makes when you suddenly find the right glove on your bar. Um, and think about it, when you crash and your hand goes down, you've got that added protection. So don't look, um, overlook the humble glove because it's definitely something that can upgrade your riding life. Okay, the helmet. Now, this is where I'm gonna cheat on our video. This is the one place where I think the price doesn't really matter. The helmet's got a fit. That's so important. You've got a really good fit and it fits your head like a glove. Um, now you've got to think about it, there's something like the Trebek, that's more of a square shaped helmet, like Steve and Blake, both like that, because they've got a more square head, um, very nice looking helmet. Or you've got something like the Tectal Race here, this is what I use, it fits me perfectly, um, it really is an amazing fit. It's so important to have your helmet fit right um, and protect your head, and if you're thinking about going over your budget, then this is the place where you do it. Now, for under £100, you wouldn't necessarily think you can transform your suspension, but you can with some clever little widgets. So let's take a look at these. Now, these volume spacers, these are a really clever little gizmo. Um, these guys, and um, these are the RockShox tokens, are coming at about £13. Go in the air chamber in your shock, basically take up space and make your fork much more progressive. So for such a tiny little gadget, 
and make a big difference to your fork. Well worth a thought. What about changing the air spring like the Debonair from RockShox? That can change the travel on your fork. It's about £42 for that upgrade, but it's a really great way of really making that fork work better for you without replacing the whole thing. Amazing. Okay, this is really cool actually. Changing your shifters can really change the performance of your gears. It's not necessarily down to the derailleurs because the shifter can be upgraded and you'll get a crisper feel. You can get even more shifts per push um, and it just feels great. So really think about the shifters. That could be a great upgrade for you. Um, obviously you've got to get the numbers right. So you've got 11 speed on your bike. You need an 11 speed shifter. Um, so make sure you get that right. But well within the bracket of between 50 to 100 pounds you've got a lot of option for like a cheap upgrade or getting up to the best XTR version if you're talking Shimano. Um, so shifters, think about that. It could really make a difference to how it feels when you're on the trail. Knee pads, this is something you should definitely be thinking about. It makes a big difference to your confidence out on the trail. You know, when you've got a knee pad on, it fits well and you've chose the right one and you can get one for under £100, no problem. You can definitely have really good comfort. It's keeping your knee warm, but it's also protected so you feel strong out on the trail. And I tell you what, with a good knee, pa knee pad on, you'll be trying things you wouldn't have thought of doing before. Okay, next up is a delicate subject because um, it's about protecting your delicates, you know, like your undercarriage. Because when you're out on the trail and you're sat down for a long time, you're grinding up those climbs, it, it can get a bit uncomfortable on the saddle. So one way to solve that for well under £100 is get yourself some bib shorts. Now, I know Lycra is not necessarily popular in mountain biking, but you can wear these under your riding shorts and no one will know. And then you've got this protection, giving you more comfort, you'll be able to ride for longer. This is a no-brainer upgrade and nobody needs to know, it's just between me and you. I've saved the best till last. This was my favourite upgrade in my riding career by far, a new set of handlebars. Oh, look at those Sam Hill ones. Nice. Uh, now think about the bar, you can change so much in your riding, you can change the rise height, the rake, the width of course, you can narrow those bars down if it suits you uh, and you really enjoy that. I like a wide 800mm bar myself, but the bars really can make a huge difference and transform the way your bike feels. So definitely think about this upgrade. And I hope you think about some of those other upgrades we've talked about. Remember that you can win a hundred pound in Chain Reaction Cycles on the Dirt Shed Show by sending us your hacks and your bodges and you could be spending a hundred pound or less on some of these upgrades yourself. So have a think about that. Thanks for joining us on the video. If you'd like to see some training mistakes, then click over here. Uh, smash the old globe there to subscribe to GMBN. You won't miss one of our videos. And give us a thumbs up like before you go. And uh, good luck with your upgrading.